No documentation has surfaced to explain why there are so few left front fenders which were produced by a company called Lopla at their factory in the Republic of Ireland. It is known that they stamped out between 300 and 500 of one panel at a time before switching the tool for the next part. One can imagine that they had just finished with a different body panel and were preparing to start the left fender when the DeLorean factory was shut down and the need for more panels ceased. It's been the subject of conspiracy theories for years as to why the dies for all the DeLorean body panels were scrapped by the supplier after the DeLorean factory closed. All that has been proven is that some were melted down and others were dumped into the sea as netting weights for a fish farm off the coast of Ireland in 1984 as seen in these photos. In 2015, it was confirmed the dies were still there. For decades, it's been known that the left fender for a DeLorean is the only body panel not readily available. Here at DMC Texas, as of February 2024, we have nearly 3,000 of the other seven body panels, doors, hoods, quarter panels, T-panels, and right fenders in our warehouse. Over the years, left front fender panel prices have ranged from around $400 in 1983, when they were still somewhat readily available, to upwards of five to $6,000 in 2023. If you need a left front fender, we're about to change that for the better. In 2016, we decided to explore what it would really take to get new left fenders made. We started by mounting a new original stock fender to a section of a DeLorean underbody and had a 3D scan created. From there, we were able to get rough quotes to have the tooling made and parts stamped. The quotes we received dictated that in order to get a fairly quick return on investment, a retail price on par with the then street price for a used left fender would be required. So we put this part on hold to focus on other parts projects. While displaying at the Specialty Equipment Market Association, or SEMA show in 2022, we were approached by a supplier of replacement body parts. We visited their booth and spoke at length with them about the left fender and showed them the DeLorean on display in our booth. After the show, we sent them the 3D scan for review and they quoted tooling and per piece cost, but requested a cleaner CAD file before any production could begin. First, we utilized the services of an engineering firm in the United Kingdom to clean up the scan based on the latest version of the factory drawings from our archives. We then had 3D prints made for key areas. The front and rear corners at the top and bottom were made to check fit and ensure correct body lines were fitting to the fascia and the door. After much discussion about the best way to confirm the validity of the scan and the resulting file cleanup, a series of prints were also made to check the contours of the wheel arch, as seen here. The top mounting holes, where the fender bolts to the underbody, were also closely checked with a different set of prints to confirm their locations in relation not only to each other, but also to ensure a certain degree of installation adjustment could be accommodated. Finally, we created a full-size, two-piece, 3D print of the left fender, with the inside of the print representing the inside dimensions. This allowed us to check the final fit on a DeLorean underbody. In July of 2023, we were 100% satisfied with the CAD work and the file was sent to the supplier. We quickly received a formal quotation for both the tooling and production of the fenders and were able to finalize the contract for the stamping dies and samples. Die development began in late August of 2023 and the first sample was completed and arrived here at DMC Texas in January of 2024. After unboxing the first newly manufactured DeLorean body panel in more than 40 years, we immediately began our review. By using the 3D prints shown earlier, and also by fitting the fender to a DeLorean undergoing restoration in our facility. Finally, metallurgical testing of the composition of the sample material against an original part was also completed, and found to be within 1% of an original DeLorean stainless panel. As you can see, the panel arrived as bare 304 stainless steel without any blending or graining being completed. An important piece of factory equipment that we own is something that we now call the fender blender. This piece of equipment was used by the factory to secure a fender in place for accurate panel finishing. Here, you can see the restored 40 plus year old fender blender, along with the factory correct ARO blending tool being used by one of our longtime technicians to apply the correct finish to the sample part we will be applying the final finish to all of these production parts here in-house, ensuring buyers receive an install-ready fender. Stay tuned to our social media, email newsletter, and online store for more details about pricing and availability.
To stay up to date with all our DeLorean videos, make sure to subscribe by clicking the button down here and please click the thumbs up below and share it with your friends and social media.